the time value learning for this uh, vulnerable age group cannot be shortchanged, and the due importance needs to be given in teaching these young ones. The ethical onus lies with us, the school owners, the teachers, and the visionaries of change, we the educationists. Internationally, there is a huge, you know, uh, um, there's huge work being done uh, on changing this curricula and to have, and to have like better approaches offered to, the, to these young children. We, the school owners, have to incorporate critical thinking skills in our curriculum. We have rote learning, textbook-based solving of problems, and also examinations. There has to be a paradigm shift towards this new age solution of critical thinking. It is a skill, surely, which can be taught in school, just as we have reading and writing skills. We have the knowledge economy indicator, which I've moved quickly on. And we can see, as we compare to China and Singapore, that we are far behind in terms of the indicators. Whilst we have a high growth in, in our GDP, which is sizable compared to China, we lack you know, in a big measure when we compare to the economy index. So I believe that we are the change. We educationists can help India reach you know, the superpower that it needs to be into the knowledge economy, because we do we do have the population, we do have the GDP. It is just the right metal and the mental framework which needs to be taken up as a challenge by us, the educationists, in having this goal fulfilled.